Let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Mr. Robo, the small holder at Painted Sky. God damn it, you have a dead to Harris Trouse. Pay up. Stop! Runs the operations there. Badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. Here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. <laughs> Counts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. There is one other, this farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Dow. Don't take any nonsense. He doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them arriving. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Sure, you'll see. Real civilized. <laughs> Let's go. All right. You know the way? Yeah. Me and the boys got into a bit of a fight at the saloon there. <laughs> Already? Ooh, all that talk about how hard you've been working. You mean drinking? <laughs> yep. She's got a thing. Fits my feet are like a diamond ring. I got a girl. Look at that coach. He's, he's all over the place. Drink that fancy wine. Is one of you going to get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? There, friend. Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the Damn. white one over there. Come here, you silly bag. It looks pretty smooth. Whoa, right? easy. Get up. Step. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. Trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. 
To Valentine! <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you have it, your false of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, <laughs> if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Yeah, yeah. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there. Near the stables. All right. Here we are, just like I said, center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> you are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then, rats with the plague. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Drop a whiskey for a start. Something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Yeah. That guy should probably steer clear of the saloon this time. You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Wait. Hey, you the feller who had the fight with Tommy outside the saloon? Yeah, that all got a little out of hand, but I didn't swing first. Sure, well, these things happen. And that was some good viewing. Don't reckon folk ever seen Tommy lose a fight before. Well, it's all done now. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. But look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah. <laughs> that should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? <clears throat> I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to Saint-Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. 
a train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was going to rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? This is a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking too long. I got you now. Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. Doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk fella. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please! Okay, okay. Shit. <laughs> hey! Who are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! <gasps> what the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But... Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope, uh, everything's okay up there? Sure. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were... Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just by. Please help me out. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? 
me. I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. Just pull me up. Come on. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. Let's go, girl. is near. Good plan, fellas. Yeah. 
slow up now. do you want? Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. I'm working, <laughs> I'm working as hard as I can. If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. Your dad's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of <laughs> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Get on. Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Uncle told me something about a train. What if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, 
They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. Our job is to make a better world for ourselves. <laughs>